All right, so on the plate for today, what I want to show you is cracking WEP uh, keys with KISSMAC for Mac OS. Uh, this is really handy if, um, of course, technically if you forgot your own key, or for some reason you need to get into another um, of your networks and can't remember your WEP key. So we'll open up KISSMAC here, and we'll go into the Preferences, and these are the Preferences options. The Scanning uh, tab is where it opens up. There's a Filter tab, a Sound tab, a Driver tab, blah, blah, blah. We're interested in the driver tab. What we'll need to do is add our wireless card. There's a couple options. If you try to add it in passive mode, what you'll see is you'll see that you can't actually choose any of the channels. So if you're running a Mac with a standard graphics card, you want to add the Apple Airport Extreme card passive mode. Once you add it, you'll see all the channels are available for you to scan. Uh, you can either select all channels or just select the ones you know um, that you're trying to get into. We'll go ahead and just select uh, 1 through 11. No dumping on the filter. Uh, we don't need anything else from any of the rest of the tabs, so we'll go ahead and go back to the main screen here. We'll go ahead and start our scan. This does require an admin password, but what this does is it'll scan all those channels for all the available um, Wi-Fi networks uh, within range. It'll also detect any um, hidden SSIDs. So what we can do is we can go ahead and stop the scan, figure out which network it is we want to get into, which one is the closest range to us, which one has WEP encryption, because that's all we're going to cover right now. Um, so we'll go ahead and choose the LOL network here. Um, and what our goal is, what we need to do is we need to scan and scan and scan until we can collect enough of these specific packets called unique IVs. We need about 300,000. Um, now in this demo, it takes quite a while to get even to 16, but when I actually did this, when there's network traffic on the network, um, it can take an hour or two hours, um, up to anywhere to you know, 12, 20 hours if there's not much traffic on the network. Once we know the network we want to scan, then we can go back into the preferences, choose just the channel that we know our network's on, and go ahead and start that scan up again. This way it won't go through all the channels and keep scanning. It will just scan on this network, meaning we get more of those unique IVs faster. On the right-hand side here, you can see all of the other um, network devices on the network and bytes that they are sending and receiving, so it'll kind of give you an idea of how fast this will go. Um, in about three minutes, I had 15 unique IVs. Like I said, it went much slower this time than it did um, when I actually did it as a, as a utility that I needed to, to use. So speed definitely varies based on how much traffic is on the network. Once you have those 30, or excuse me, 300,000 unique IVs, what we need to do is then um, crack the key. And it'll use those unique IVs along with um, WEP-based libraries to go ahead and try to figure out how to crack your key. So we'll go ahead and we'll go up to the network tab, go down to crack. Here we have a few options. We have the brute force option, we have the wordless attack, and we have the weak scheduling attack. Now, we don't want to use the brute force attack. What we actually want to use is the weak scheduling attack. And if you know whether the network you're trying to get to, into is 40-bit or 104-bit, you can choose. Uh, but if you don't, just go ahead and choose both. You'll go through and check all these keys. Um, obviously, right now it's going to run for quite a while because I only have 16 keys, but once you have the, that 300,000 keys, this process shouldn't take more than a few seconds. 